Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to today's episode of Local Biz Buzz. I'm your host, Larry Herz. And making a return engagement after a year away from the studio, we have our friend Lexi from Van Jack Vodka. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you for having me again. <laughs> <laughs> so you were here last June with Van Jack. And, uh, you know, I think once a year is a reasonable amount of time to come back. What made you come back this time? You just missed us? I missed you, and mm. we have a new cocktail I can share with you, a fun summer cocktail, pomegranate spritz. Before we get into that, let's hear a little history of Van Jack. Van Jack is made in Golden. It's a corn-based vodka. We launched in 2015, um, did a couple of rebrandings, and we actually are going to get a new label here shortly too. add some mountains, make it look more Colorado. Um, Corn-based, gluten-free, the main difference is our filtration process, which is filtered through carbon and silver. So it's just a microbial, an extra added layer of clean filtering. And we use water out of Boulder, the El Dorado Canyon spring water. Um, and we don't take any of the water qualities out of it. So it's just pure Boulder water. And vodka is about 70% water, so the water that you use does make a big difference. Um, also, a fun fact is legally vodkas can add up to 0.02% sugar and not have to claim it, so they can kind of hide the, the harsh bite at the end. We actually don't add any sugar. It's just that smooth. So you're saying it's a healthy vodka? It's a healthy vodka. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's gluten-free, of course. So Where does the name Van Jack come from? Van Jack is named after the owner's family, so Van is his son. J and K, Joy is his daughter, and Kim is his wife. Well, that's just so sweet. <laughs> All right, what are you going to make me a drink today? Well, we have one that we've already made, and I can teach you guys how to make this. Okay. Uh, it's just easier to talk about it than make it and do all the shaking on the show. So you'll start with one ounce of Van Jack vodka, one and a half ounces of pomegranate juice, and you can get this at any grocery store. And then you're just going to add a splash of elderflower liqueur, about a, a teaspoon, Shake it with ice, pour it and strain it into a martini glass, and then you just top it with any champagne. You could do dry, you could do sweet. I did the Cook's Brutes. This is a little more dry. Okay. Pour that over and that is a Van Jack pomegranate spritz. You could also do it in a rocks glass over ice if you don't want it as a martini. And then the other drink, this is just our classic summer cocktail. We did this last year. It doesn't, you know, doesn't get old. It's a classic. It's a classic. You, you call it a classic. I would hope it's still good a year it's later. It's still good a year later. So I like to just average about two ounces of tea. Because this one's going to be mine. This one's yours. Perfect. And any lemonade. I prefer the light lemonades. They're just a little bit less sweet. Just top it with lemonade. You could get fancy and add a slice of lemon wedge on the side. See you, buddy. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, thanks for having us. Now all I need to be doing is sitting at the pool right now with this. Exactly. This is, this is chugging. It's a fabulous it. summer pool drink. Golf courses. Yeah. Golf courses, yes. What are they called? The, the, the John, John Daly. Daly, right? Okay, where can people get Van Jack Vodka? Most major liquor stores. We've been with Republic National now for a year, and they've really blown up our brand. Um, any major liquor store, you know, Argonaut, Applejack, Molly's. Hazel's in Boulder, um, up north in Fort Collins, you've got Wilbur's, down right. south, down around here, Davidson's, uh, Lucas Liquor Superstore. What kind of pricing would they be looking at? Um, I would say average, the 175s our handles go for between $16.99 to $18.99. Hey, everybody's eyes just went, huh? <laughs> 16 bucks, I can afford that. <laughs> yeah, we are a very price conscious brand, so, you know, great for parties. If you want to bring it to share with people, it's a really great price point. Um, so you don't have to worry about hogging it all to yourself or paying too much for vodka. Like, you know, Tito's now is about $40 for Come a handle. On. So we're half that price. And just as great quality. And you're supporting local. And you're supporting local. Which is I mean, why would, the name why of the would show. you want to support Texas and Colorado? It's not called Texas Biz Buzz. <laughs> it's called Local Biz Buzz. We're supporting. Uh, that's the whole concept of why I do this. Yep. Uh, and then the liters, is that what they get in stores? Or yep, might... you can get liters or 750s. Um, we didn't have 750s for a while with the glass shortage with yeah. COVID, so we transitioned to liters, but we've since added 750s back. We have glass and plastic. Um, these will average around $12, some places 13 for a one liter, and you get just a little bit more in the bottle for about the same price as a 750. So it's a win-win for everybody. And the sweet tea, 
What kind of tea do you use to make the sweet tea? Sweet tea, we use a black and green tea blend. This is from a local company called Tea Tulia. Yeah. And uh -huh. we just we blend the tea with the vodka and add sugar, so there's no food coloring or artificial flavorings in the tea. Again, so if you're drinking this, you're going double local. Double local, and it's dangerous. It's 70 proof. The regular vodka is 80 proof, so it's just cut down a little bit. So you know, if you have a couple of those at the pool. Are you in any restaurants? Yes. Um, we're in a couple restaurants. Yeah, Recess is probably our biggest on-premise. Oh, Recess. Recess and Campus Lounge. Yeah. They just opened a new restaurant, Field Trip. Yeah, been there. We're in there as well. Um, the tea, we, I'm trying to get more places to bring in the tea, especially for the summertime. But we're in golf courses, like Arrowhead Golf Course down south. Um, I think there's one called Buffalo Run or Buffalo... Yeah, Buffalo, Buffalo Run. Buffalo Run. Yeah. Up in Commerce City. Um, I, I drink it just on the rocks. Yeah, uh, it's great. It really doesn't need lemonade. It doesn't need lemonade. It's, you know, for some people, they kind of, it cuts down the Maybe alcohol a splash of lemonade splash wouldn't bit. hurt it. You could do a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Yeah, Just pour work. it on the rocks. That's how I drink it. Do you have a website that says, like, maybe where your people can get it? Yep, it's just vanjackvodka.com. <laughs> okay. Do you have a tasting room? We have a tasting room, but it's not open to the public since COVID. It's just hard to staff it. And yeah. Huh. Where we are, so we're located in Golden. Um, it's kind of an industrial area. It's about 10 minutes outside of downtown Golden where Six Meets Colfax. There's a corporate Home Depot Center. And there's just not a lot of foot traffic that goes back there. Okay. We're actually back there also with um, Golden Noon Distillery and State 38 is across the street from us. So, I mean, there's a couple distilleries back there, but it just doesn't get enough foot traffic for the tasting room to be open right now. I am going to be doing a giveaway of some of this vodka. Check out my Instagram, OCN Eats. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to give away yet, but, but we're giving away vodka. As soon as the show's over, I'm going to post this episode, and we're going to do a giveaway. Love that. Good to see you, buddy. Let's drink. Cheers. We'll be back for What's for Lunch tomorrow. We're going out to lunch right now, actually. <laughs>